Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here with Cigars and Gear. And today I want to talk about a few things. I'm starting to put together another go bag or whatever, bug out bag, whatever. But I do have a very large bag that I want to start putting some things in. Extra clothes for me and my family, some blankets, things like that. Things that if we had to leave immediately. Let's say there was an impending storm, tornado on its way. Definitely going to hit you, take shelter, or get out of Dodge, or, you know, just anything, man. What are some things that you can grab to help yourself to be in a good position? So these are just a few things that I've thrown together loosely just to give you guys some food for thought. One, a pair of good leather or pigskin gloves. You can never, ever, ever go wrong with having a pair of thick gloves. You just never know what you're going to need them for. If you had to build a shelter, these are going to protect your hands, especially, you know, grabbing some of the indigenous uh, pine trees around here. Uh, you know, just, I mean, anything, right? It's going to protect your hands. Always a good idea to have. Um, a portable, foldable saw, right? This is uh, one that I picked up. I don't even remember where I got this thing from. But just a decent little handsaw, right? Enough that you could cut up some dead wood to throw on a campfire. Something that's lockable, preferably. Um, you know, lightweight, easy to do. I mean, actually, it even locks closed. This is a great tool, man. You can never, ever, ever go wrong with having a collapsible um, uh, saw. Um, this I actually picked up at Harbor Freight the other day, and I thought, dude, what are you buying that for? But they had them like for like four bucks or something, but it's simply a machete. Now, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's flimsy, it's wobbly, uh, but it does have a saw back on it, and it's, it's a little sharp. I mean, it's sharp enough. I wouldn't want to lay my hand down and give it a good whack, but... For the cheapness of it, it's something that you can definitely throw in a go bag and say, well, at least I know if I had to chop down some small saplings, things like that, I have that available on top of my saw, okay? Um, a good multi-tool or a bad multi-tool, pliers are pliers, in my opinion. I'm not saying that this is my EDC or even something that I would recommend. But it's better than nothing. It does have a blade in it. I mean, this was like a Wally World $5, $6 special. But more importantly, it does have pliers. I could twist wire with it if I had to. Um, you know, it's got a file. It's got a bottle opener. It's got a basic screwdriver. It'll work. I'm just saying. Whatever dollar amount you decide to spend, spend it. Um, a compass certainly a compass. Um, you do not want to be out without a compass, no matter what you're doing. Um, without having a compass, you are going to be lost no matter what. Well, all right. Maybe not if you're Bear Grylls or you've been in the military or you've done your research or you're super into survivalism. Maybe not as much, but having a compass, especially if you're going to travel at night, which is not necessarily always a bad thing, having a compass is going to give you that ability to at least know which direction you're heading. Um, another thing that I recommend, obviously, is a striker. Some kind of way to um, light a fire, right? If you don't have a way to light a fire, yeah, well, you weren't even thinking about prepping because this should be your number one or at least in the top three, guaranteed. So a way to start a fire, uh, whether it's flint and steel or whatever. And multiple ways, even having a butane torch lighter or a Bic, whatever. Anything that you could put in there that can have a fire uh, happen. Um, this is something that not everybody thinks about, but a sharpener. Um, this is a knife sharpener um, that I picked up at Rapid River Knife Works. Uh, it's got two tungsten or carbide steel um, V notches here. If you really badly damaged your, your knife, uh, it's got a nice little edge in there for fine sharpening. Um, it's just something that 
listen, this doesn't take up any amount of weight at all. Matter of fact, you could even connect it to your striker and then there you go. So a way to sharpen your knife without carrying a complete set of honing stones. You just never know, guys. Um, another thing that I like to carry outside of my standard knife that I always have, I always have a knife on me no matter what. Uh, this is my SOG. I just did a video on that. Um, but I always have a knife on me. But um, these little um, razor knives that you could pick up, this one happens to be Husky, so from uh, Home Depot. But these things are super cheap. You can get a whole bunch of blades. And honestly, for fine work, not a bad idea. I'm just saying, this is something that's very, very small, can be thrown into a very small kit bag. And the reason I like these, especially, you know, if you buy a, a pack of, you know, 20 extra blades, is for making kindling and things like that. You don't necessarily want to use your big knife. Or if you're out, let's say you're out with your family. Let's say that you're out with your family, you've got your knife, or maybe you've got your bigger knife and you're using it. This gives somebody else the ability to make some tin, you know, kindling or something like that right off of this. No big deal. It's uh, super easy to use, super sharp. They can do all their little tasks around the, the campfire. And if it gets dull, simply turn the blade over. That one gets dull. Well, you can simply replace the blade. So just some ideas of some things that make you think. You know, when you've got that big bag that you're putting together, there's a lot of different things that you could put in there. It, in, in all honesty, I mean, even this is something that I really contemplated bringing up. But, um, you know, here's a 10-in-1 tool, right? I've got different bit tips. I've got um, on both sides. So I've got, um, I've got the uh, hex bits. I've got, you know, regular bits. Um, I've got, you know, nuts, so that's quarter and five sixteenths on the other side. It doesn't weigh a lot. It's something that you can easily throw in a bag. I mean, you can throw a needle on those pliers, a pair of pliers, a little tool kit. This could save your life. You just never know. You come across something that's got a battery with a bad terminal and you need to tighten it up or whatever. Just saying, this is all good stuff to put in the back of your mind on what could potentially help you out. So this isn't necessarily stuff that I'm going to put in my bags. I was simply using these as reference. I love buying this stuff. Four bucks, I'm a sucker for it. Four or five bucks, I'm a sucker for it. You know, is it going to hold up? Probably not. Am I going to go out, you know, am I going to put that in my go bag? I could. I mean, it's going to do something. Uh, but chances are I'm going to put, you know, my SOG in there, right? It's got a stiffer spine to it. It's more well built. I'm not going to worry about it bending or breaking or you know, whatever, right? So, but I, I wanted to show you guys this stuff to give you something to put into your mind to think about, hmm, what are some things that we're going to be doing? So we're going to call this part one of Go Bag. Um, just ideas and we'll be back sooner or later with a part two and we'll talk more about it till next time I'm Moose be good to each other